Okay, today we're going to take a look at graphing linear equations in point-slope form. And before we get started here, um, I have put um, point-slope form down here as a formula. y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Alright, I have put the um, three things um, that will be our numbers in our equations in orange so that they kind of stand out. Alright, from point-slope form we can easily find a random point that is on the line and we can also then look at the slope and then that's going to be what's going to help us graph the equation. Alright, so for my first example over here, I've got y minus 6 equals 2 thirds times the quantity x plus 4. Alright, so the 2 thirds is sitting in the same spot as this, so that's going to be my slope. Alright, this number right here is going to be my y sub 1 my y-coordinate of the point that's going to be on the line, and this number right here is going to be my x sub 1, or my x-coordinate of the point on the line. All right, now, because of the way this formula is written, there's minus signs in the formula, and when I pull the point out, it becomes positive. All right, usually just the easiest way, I think, to do this is I take the opposite of what I see here in the equation to generate my point. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to um, generate my point by looking at my x in, my x sub 1 and my y sub 1. All right, in the original equation, it is a positive 4, so I'm going to need a negative 4 for my point. And then over here for my y sub 1, um, it's showing a negative 6 in the original equation, so it's going to give me a positive 6 when I generate that point. And that's probably the hardest part um, to remember there, but it is strictly because of the way this formula is set up with negatives there and the positives down here showing out. All right, um, and then I'm going to go up to the equation and I'm going to locate the slope. The slope is the coefficient number right there in front of your set of parentheses, so I have a positive two-thirds slope. All right, now knowing any point on the line and then knowing the slope is going to easily allow me to graph this linear equation. I will put the point on first and then I will run the rise over run for my slope. All right, so let's do that right now. Um, putting the point on, I'm going to put my first point on at negative four, six. So I'm going to plot that point. One, two, three, four is negative four going to the left and then up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that is a point on the line. Now from here, I'm going to use my slope and I'm going to run my rise over run because my slope is a fraction there. So from the point that I've just generated, I'm going to rise two and run three. One, two, three, and that gives me a second point. You can put more than one point on if you wanted. You'd rise two and then run three and that's going to give you another point if you want your line to be a little bit more accurately. Um, all right, and then you're going to connect your dots and graphing a linear equation of point slope is that simple. All right, um, let's clearly show where our rise here was. Our rise was a two and our run was a three. Okay, so there is a quick and easy method for graphing a linear equation in point slope form.